In prison, a police officer named Green is preparing himself to deliver some money to one of the prisoners, Balam. Balam is a high-profile prisoner who's kept in a separate prison, served by his personal guards and has access to luxurious facilities. Despite being in the prison, Balam is able to run his drug-selling business. Alongside his human trafficking and weapon transport, Balam is staying in prison because he feels like it's the safest place where his enemies cannot attack him. In the next scene, we see new prisoners are brought to the prison, and it's announced that they'll be kept in the same building as Balam. Among the prisoners, there's an ex-officer Jack, who's accused of killing a fellow officer on duty, and robbing a bank. Officer Green stops Jack before he can enter his assigned prison cell. He then punched Jack in the stomach, and sneered by saying that Jack would not last long in the prison. One week earlier, when Jack and his fellow officers robbed a bank, turns out that it was a plan to acquire enough evidence against Balam and the corrupt government officers, who run the criminal business in prison. After successfully obtaining the evidence from the bank lockers, Jack and his colleagues try to escape, but get caught by the other officers. Despite the crossfire, Jack's colleagues are killed, while only Jack manages to escape and run inside a building, with some officers pursuing him. When Jack is about to leave the building, after fighting with some officers, he's confronted by another officer from behind, who threatens to kill him. Just then Jack reveals his face to the officer, and jumps from the building along with him. He purposefully does this, because he recognized the police officer, who was involved in his wife's murder. The officer lands head first and dies instantly, but Jack was lucky to survive the fall. Later, Jack leaves the evidence bag inside the apartment of a reporter named Trisha. He provides her with all the evidence about corruption and involvement of the government officials with Balam, and also asks her to report the case to the district attorney's office. Back in prison, Jack is placed in a cell with a prisoner named Silva. During lunch, a prisoner named Semyon, who is Balam's cousin, he asked a new prisoner for security money, because the man refused to give money to Semyon. The man was beaten by Semyon. After that, Semyon approached Jack and intended to ask Jack for money. But before Semyon could threaten Jack, the man first attacked Semyon and knocked him and his men down. Semyon attacked first, so the guards catch him and throw him in a solitary confinement. In the next scene, Jack is taken to a secret prison, where he's allowed to converse with Balam via security cameras. Balam warns Jack to not interfere in his business, and also mentions that if he continue to do so, he will be gruesomely killed like his wife. However Jack is unfazed by the threats. At night, when Jack was in his cell, then three of Balam's men enter Jack's cell and attack him. Surprisingly, Jack managed to incapacitate the three easily, without even waking his sleepy room partner Silva. On the other hand, Trisha is investigating the evidence she obtained before, after some searching, she successfully finds the real identity of Jack Stone. The next day, after collecting enough proof, Trisha approaches the district attorney's office. She tries her best to meet him in prison, but unfortunately the receptionist informs her that the attorney is busy at the moment. She's then asked to hand over the evidence to Mark, the district attorney's assistant. However, Trisha doesn't trust him and leaves the office without providing Mark with the evidence. In the next scene, Trisha can be seen waiting for the attorney to leave his office so that she can meet him in person. As soon as he walks outside, Trisha approaches him and tells him everything about the evidence she has against the corrupt government officials and police officers. The attorney Johnson then provides her with his personal card and asks her to contact him if she needs any help. After this, Trisha visits Jack and informs him that she's working with the information he provided her. Hearing this, Jack asks Trisha to be careful and use the information properly. After returning to his cell, Jack meets a prisoner named William. He suggests Jack stay careful of Balaam's men, as he attacked Semyon before. In reply, Jack reveals that he's not afraid of Balaam or Samyon, and also asks William about where Balaam's cell is. However, William informs him that Balaam's detention cell's location is so secret, that even most of the prison guards aren't know about it. In the next scene we're shown some scenes of a female prison, where two female prisoners are fighting with each other. While they're fighting, the prison guards arrive there and separate them. After this, a prisoner named Elena, is brought to Balaam's cell by covering her face. Soon she's brought in front of Balaam, where Semyon and other prisoners are also present. Semyon and his men are there for collecting security money without Balaam's knowledge, and Elena is brought there for beating one of Balaam's favorite female prisoners. After a while, Balaam announces that he will provide the prize of $100,000 to the one who will eliminate Jack. Next, we see William who tells Jack that Balaam has put out a bounty for killing him. Then we see some prisoners here, who form a group and come to kill Jack. But Jack can easily defeat them all with William's help. On the other hand, Balaam received a call from District Attorney Johnson, who informs him about Trisha having the evidence against him. Hearing this, Balaam urges Johnson to finish Trisha, while he eliminates Jack by the end of the day. When Jack is working in the laundry room, a group of prison guards arrive and attack him to claim the reward proposed by Balaam. At first Jack gets beaten by the guards' batons, but later he manages to fight back and defeat them. After this, 
Jack walks out of the living room, but is again confronted by another group of prisoners, who are ready to attack him, before fighting them, Jack tries to make them understand that the prize is not worth the risk they're taking, he also explains that the money Balam is offering will be less, if they divide it among themselves, realizing that the prize pool is not worth the risk, the prisoners step back and walk away, meanwhile, Trisha visits her friend Allison, and tells her everything about Balam and the evidence she has against him, and the officers working with him, in the next scene, Elena approaches Balam's favorite female prisoner Kat, and apologizes for her earlier behavior, rather than accepting her apology, Kat instigates another fight and punches Elena in the face, after Elena pretends to fall unconscious, she's taken to the prison doctors for further treatment, the doctor examines Elena, and leaves her to take some rest, as soon as the doctor exits the room, Elena opens her handcuffs with the help of a paper clip, and steals some alcohol and other medicines to hide them in William's cleaning bucket, she then grabs an air vent opener, and sneaks into an air vent in search of the CCTV room, crawling through the air vent, she draws a map, and ultimately finds the location of the CCTV room. Following this, Elena returns to the medical room in time, with the help of William, at the same time, Trisha visits Jack and informs him, that she has gathered all the information about him. She then asks him about why he killed a fellow officer. In reply, Jack reveals to her that his wife was killed by Balam's men, which also included the police officer. In the following scene, Jack finds out that William is not a real prisoner, rather an undercover officer. Confused he inquires with William on how long he's been working undercover, and the latter replies that it's been six months. William also reveals, that his main aim is to expose the corrupt prisoners and government officers working for Balam. He then mentions that Elena is also working with him to find different evidence hidden inside the prison. While William is explaining all this to Jack, the duo is suddenly attacked by other prisoners, and a fight ensues between them. Later, Jack is thrown into a solitary prison with the accusation of instigating the fight, while William is asked to appear in front of the prison warden Blaine. As William and Blaine fought against Balaam's men before, Blaine threatens William to provide him with more money if he wants to keep staying in the prison under undercover. On the other hand, Trisha again tries to meet with the district attorney, but the receptionist informs her, that Johnson is busy attending several meetings. Surprisingly Mark approaches Trisha and again suggests she provide him with the evidence. In the next scene, Balam's daughter comes to visit him, and for this reason, Balam is released from his prison and brought to the meeting chamber. As Balam exits his cell, William notices him, and instructs Elena to commence her actions. Following William's order, Elena pretends to fall unconscious and is carried away by a prison guard. Later, when she's being dragged to the medical room, the warden is attacked by Elena and William. Elena then sneaks inside the CCTV room, while William disguised as a prison guard, heads to the control room. Following this, Elena looks at the CCTV cameras, and discovers that Balam is about to leave the visiting room. Just then, William unlocks Jack's solitary confinement cell and releases him. After getting out, Jack attacks a prison guard and wears his uniform. Soon, William informs Jack, that he and Elena will assist him in getting to Balam's private cell. Jack then follows William and Elena's instructions to reach Balam's cell before he returns. Shortly after, Blaine and several prison guards discover that someone has broken into the CCTV room. While they try to open the door, Elena somehow manages to enter the ventilation duct to escape from there. When William realizes, that there's no more time left until Balam returns to his private cell, he opens all of the prison cell's doors, spreading mayhem throughout the prison. Soon the prisoners come out of their cells, and begin attacking the prison guards, who used to torture them and behave inappropriately. Witnessing the commotion, a panicked officer Green tries to flee, but he's stopped by Jack, who pushes him into a group of prisoners. At the same time, William and Elena are also busy fighting with several prisoners, who are attacking them. When Jack tries to approach Balam, he's met by Semyon, and the two begin fighting each other. Despite Semyon using a knife to stab Jack in the stomach, he manages to defeat Semyon, and enter Balam's chamber. Meanwhile, it's revealed that Allison has teamed up with the district attorney Johnson, and has conspired against Trisha with a plan to eliminate her. But before Allison is able to shoot Trisha, she is saved by Mark, who turns out to be an FBI agent. Here it is revealed, that Mark is impersonating a prosecutor's assistant in order to expose District Attorney Johnson's, and other government officials' misconduct. The scene then shifts back to the prison, where William manages to knock out Warden Blaine and other prison guards. Finally Jack manages to locate Balam, and starts fighting with him one-on-one. -on -one. Soon, Balam gains an upper hand and knocks out Jack. When Jack becomes helpless and falls to the floor, he remembers how his wife was killed by Balam and his men. This inspires him to rise to his feet, allowing him to eventually eliminate Balam, and take revenge for his wife's murder. In no time the SWAT team arrives at the prison, and manages to take control of the chaotic situation. When things calm down, William introduces Jack and Elena to each other. Later, William also said, that his boss wanted to thank him for helping eradicate Balam's gang inside and outside the prison. In turn, 
Jack also thanks the duo for assisting him in obtaining his vengeance. Later, the FBI eventually arrests all government officials and police officers, who are found to be working with Balam. Here, Jack is taken into custody by William with the promise of releasing him soon. And this is where the movie ends.